Hey look, it's a DY computer. Hi everybody, um, this video is probably going to be quicker than it takes to actually do this process. Um, I am going to take this HP ProBook 4530S, which is a 15 inch laptop from I think around 2009, and I am going to take its lowly i3 and bump it up to an i7. The uh, thing my child and I want to do is we want to use it for streaming and capturing video and to use an Elgato game capture you need at least an i7 quad core that's two gigahertz before any throttle or before any turboing happens so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put it on an i7 in this one and I have the chip right here this is your i7 I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. Let me uh, stop for a minute. Oh, we'll, we'll go back and uh, we'll have some focus. There it is. You actually can't tell what it is if you flip it over, but you can kind of see through the plastic that there's some kind of Intel thingy dingy there. So that's what we're going to replace it with. And also, let me tell you that this is one of those laptops that you have to take all the way down to the motherboard to do any kind of cleaning or fan replacement or uh, even to redo thermal paste. So, I can't concentrate while I'm filming this, so I will come back periodically in the process. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I don't know if changing the processor fundamentally changes the computer and I have Windows 10 on this laptop and I don't want it from the uh, free trial period and I don't want to lose that install so I've got a program that I'm going to install called um, ProtoKey and ProtoKey extracts the product key from your Windows installation. It doesn't work on everything, but it worked on my computer upstairs, and I think it worked on here. I just don't have it written down anywhere, so I'm going to do that, and um, I'll show you that, and then we'll be right back. So I have my USB flash stick here. I've got Windows 10 over there. We're going to install ProtoKey and then we're going to extract the product key from Windows and um, then we'll go from there. Okay, so ProtoKey did its thing. I have copied and pasted it into a document that only I know the location of. So like I said, um, there's a couple of other things on this laptop. You can hear the, I don't know if you can hear the fan or not, but it's running pretty, pretty loud and I don't like that. I think I could probably blow the air out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to clean off the inside of the computer too. It's kind of a mess. I do open this up every now and again to like install other things. And the other thing I'm going to put in here is an SSD. So I got this gentleman right here. It's a Silicon Power model S55. It is um, 200, like I said, 240 gigs. I like silicon power. They're a good bang for the buck. Um, this one is the straight bare bones kind. It doesn't come with any kind of brackets or anything like that. It is what it is. Should fit in here just fine. So I got that. I got the processor. I have on my other flash stick, I have Windows 10 just in case. Um, and I have Arctic Clean and some Arctic Silver 5 and then I have my plastic uh, removal tools I've got my magnetic screwdriver set I think everything is looking good but like I said I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours when the motherboard when they when I've got more of the computer exposed I also have the take apart guide in that binder over there so 
I shouldn't have any problems getting it apart and putting it back together, but you never know, you know. So um, I will be back when I have more of this out. See you in a few. And there it is, guys. It's all taken apart. It's right down to the motherboard, and it's pretty dirty. So I'm going to get the canned air for some of this. Some of this is going to be my... It's going to be my vacuum, but I'm going to get all the dirt off and I'll get it back together, and then we'll boot it up with an i7. Okay, so here we are on the next night, because it took me forever. Yes, I did do it. I put it all back together, and now we're going to try it. So here's the ultimate test. I'm not trying to run, not run over my cat. Here we go. I have a boot floppy, the Windows 10 installer, just to see. I have my hard drive is out of the computer right now. I'll probably test it on the next shot. So here we go. Power on. And power on works. And we've got an HP logo. And there's nothing there. So let's go to F9 for the boot menu. Try again. Let's press escape. And then press escape again. Uh, five, nine. F9 for the boot floppy. Okay, it's got to have a hard drive in it, so I'll be right back. So here we are back a few seconds later. I have the uh, hard drive into the computer really quick, so I'm just going to power it up and see what happens. If it boots into Windows 10 and tells me anything different, I think this is first time with a new processor. So let's see. So this isn't going to be very fast because we're loading from a hard disk. And then the new hard drive will be a little bit easier. And I have the wireless and everything hooked up, so it should be fine. If something is wrong, I'll see it here. There it is. And I don't hear any sound. There is sound. Okay, good. So the speakers are right. So I think this is successful. Let's get properties and go to the device manager.
base system device, unknown system device, unknown device. That's pretty much standard stuff. And that doesn't show the processor. I do not have CPU Z or Specy on here. Um, let's try that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, it does show the Intel Core i7 2670QM at 2.2 gigahertz, running at 47 degrees centigrade. And I've got my RAM and uh, currently I have my Western Digital hard drive in there, but that's coming out because it's the bottleneck. This is just as slow as it was before. Um, it's a little bit faster, but uh, once we get our SSD in there, we will go. I have put SSDs in here, if you're wondering why I upgraded the processor besides uh, doing streaming with my Elgato is because uh, upgraded the processor because I thought that it would give us a performance boost, which it does. There is a Windows Experience index for Windows 10 that I can download and try out. We can show that in a minute uh, before and after. So let's try that. So this is a tool called Winero that you don't even have to install and this gives us a Windows Experience Index. Uh, basically it's the same thing as you got on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Uh, as you can see we are brought down by desktop graphics. So, and also our primary hard drive is 5.9. So once we get a SSD in there, I think it will improve. So we will do that and we got to install Windows again. So it looks like nothing is affected as far as my Windows installation. I'm just going to redo it. Okay. So um, we'll see you on the other side of that. So here's your Windows Experience Index after the SSD is installed and in the interest of complete transparency, this is a week later. But as you can see, everything has moved up. Um, the only thing that hasn't moved up significantly is desktop graphics performance, which is only 5.7. That's up one percentage point or a tenth of a percent. So it's not too bad. But the whole computer is running better as a result. So was this a worthy upgrade? Yes. If for no other reason than to get the computer cleaned up, get some new thermal paste onto the processor, and blow the dust out of the fan and stuff. This was my cousin's PC, and he got it from somebody else, and I think that person spilled soda into it. So there was more cleaning up than I wanted to do, but uh, it's working fine now, and I'm capturing this screen in OBS Studio, so uh, we should be good to go on streaming, uh, me and my daughter, so uh, hopefully we can get some stuff done with this. So back to the video. And the computer is all finished as far as I'm concerned. Um, we're going to put the final touch on which are case badges. Um, I've cleaned the entire wrist rest with WD-40 and Windex. And uh, normally this wouldn't bother me. I'd probably have taken the stickers off and just left them off. But it was so much work that it needed kind of a cherry on top. So the only thing that I'm waiting for now is a wireless card with Bluetooth and that should be here shortly hopefully I ordered it from China which was a big mistake but um, anyway I'll stick those on and then we'll finish this up okay so there they are all stuck on the Windows 10 sticker is actually plastic it's a little bit thicker it's probably made for a regular computer case but I don't care. I like the gold. It goes with the case of the computer as it is. So one of these days I'm going to change this whole wrist rest and keyboard because it's kind of whooped. But there it is. It's all set up. 
it's ready to go. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up. Give me a subscription if you'd like, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.